I was going to explain to you guys the whole quitting situation with the preschool. Good morning, internet friends. Finally morning. How are we doing today? How are we sassy? I'm doing sleepy. How are we, Riddler? Also sleepy. MRL is asleep. So, I know there wasn't a vlog up yesterday. Life was kind of crazy, hectic. Um, long day at work. And then went for my second job. And then I'd go pick up my brother, so I was never, I didn't even get home until close to around 10. No, close to 9.30 actually, is when I got home. And then spend the remainder of my night working on the vlog. So, yeah. Um, and whenever I come back from work today, I will explain, I got to talk to the director today. I mean yesterday. And when I get back from work, I will tell you guys about it. Because right now I'm getting ready to go to Petco and do some work. So, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Riddler! Riddler. Riddler. Come back. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. So, just want to check in, tell you guys good morning, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys! So there's Riddler. There's Emerald. Emerald, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh, thank you. I've always wanted yawn in my face. And there's Sassy. And I gotta show you guys something really cool. If I can get away from the sun for a second. Woo! I got a mermaid blanket. Swish! Swish, 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 swish. I actually bought it from Amazon like yesterday. And it arrived today. I'm pretty impressed. Or no, was it Thursday I bought it? Either way. It was supposed to arrive on Monday, so. Woo! And it's really long. It comes up to my chest. And it looks like there's scales. And I can put my feet through the other end. So if I'm too hot, just stick them out. But I feel so magical. I love it. Okay. So, how did my day go? Work was great, got to pet a bunch of dogs, and I got to meet a couple of greyhounds that are from Second Chance Greyhounds, which was the adoption agency that I was gonna get a service dog from. And then I ended up going with this little boy. But one day I do still plan on adopting a greyhound from them because I really do want a greyhound. I love them, I love their temperament, I love their size. I can accept having to put a, keep them on a leash at all times because otherwise, you know, they're like squirrel and go and gone. Um, but yeah, that was great. Oh, don't be growling just because your brother touched you. Now, let's see, after work, went to Walmart and I got a few things. I forgot tie-dye. I'm kind of sad because I want to tie-dye my other blue buffalo shirt and tie-dye it blue. Whoa, amazing. Um, got some lunch at Panda Express, came home. My parents and my brother are going, have gone to Chattanooga for a little trip. I didn't really want to go because I'm really tired, so I stayed home. And um, I'm going to be working on a project for a DIY puzzle feeder for the boys. Um, so far, I've got a piece of two-inch PVC pipe drying outside because I washed it off. It was in the barn. It is really long, so... <laughs> My dad's going to have to help me saw it. And then we're going to cap both ends and drill random holes in it and put treats because I want to provide more mental stimulation for my dogs. Plus, you've been chewing on shoes, Mr. Emerell. Wait, what is that? Hold on one second. I just, hold on. I just found a tick on him. Look, guys, there's Hoggett waddling away, taking the boys outside to go potty. Yeah? And then let me see if I can do this without being too disruptive. There's one mama duck and two mama ducks. 
Okay, we leave them alone. Off we go. Okay, so got the tick flushed and now doggies are outside. Luckily, it had not started feeding on him because it was still pretty darn flat. But anyway, so I was going to explain to you guys the whole quitting situation with the preschool. So, um, I did talk to the director and I've told her that, you know, this isn't a good fit for me. She said that she understood. Um, she has asked for me to stay one more week so that they can hire somebody else and have them shadow me, which I said, yes, that's fine. So apparently, um, my classroom was never supposed to exist. Uh, I was supposed to have shadowed someone before I started working and I was supposed to be an assistant teacher. I was never supposed to be like an actual teacher, but you know, all of this did happen and I already told her, you know, I'm sorry, but I still do not want to work here anymore. So I am giving it one more week so that they can find someone because I feel like that is the most fair thing to do. And in the meantime, I can at least set up my classroom as much as I can for success for the person who replaces me. Try to make it as structured as possible. So, yeah. And I keep looking over this way. Look, let me show you. There's a really big stick right there under the bridge. Sighting. And look, there's a pond. And fun fact, so what in the heck is that? That looks like some kind of pot and a bottle. So fun fact, way over there, there is a creek that runs through the forest. And when it rains really hard and people litter, which is wrong, it all gets in our lake and it goes whoop, all the way here. Then it dumps out and off it goes down the creek way over there and then across the road is more creek. So litter in our creek is actually pretty common as much as we don't like that. But here's a pretty look at our lake and Hoggett. Isn't he beautiful? So I'm just gonna spend some time with the dogs outside and then we'll probably go inside and actually start recording the video of MRL's commands that you guys have asked for and I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys! They're Riddler sleeping. They're MRL playing with the chew rope. I also moved the blanket to where he can't get to it because if he chews that I'm going to be mad. And they're sassy sleeping. Oh and there's my essential oils diffuser being really loud for some reason. So, I've run out of Ambien, so I'm just like, well, great. And since my psychiatrist no longer prescribes that, I'm like, well, I need to find someone else who can. But right now I'm going to see if I could get myself to go to sleep. Because it's like my brain just won't shut off. And of course, you guys with anxiety understand that. To me, it just feels like I have a bunch of static going in my head. And it won't let my brain quiet down. The Ambien helps my brain to calm calm down. But now I no longer have it, so yay goody. Oh, and I've posted Emerald's tasks video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I will say it got me freaked out for a little while, because I was like, oh crap, what if he doesn't know everything he needs to know right now? Um, I've considered taking him to a trainer. I'm not sure, though. There's two I'm thinking of, one at Petco and then one who offered me a deal where for the price of one set of classes, I get two. But, I don't know. Um, so, talked to a friend of mine about it. And she was saying how, like, I should just, I could try DPT and place duration, which he's great at place. But DPT duration sounds like a great idea. So, you know, I just get really worried about that. And I have, and I mean, I looked through my service dog inspiration stuff, which I want to find a board to use, but I can't find one anywhere. Goody. 
Um, what else am I thinking? I was thinking of something. And then I have a list of like tasks and exposures and stuff like that that I got from someone on Instagram. And I went through those and a lot of it's checked off actually. So I'm like, hey, maybe he's doing better than I think he is. And of course, anxiety brain's going to be like, no, he's screwing up on everything, but I know better, I guess. I don't know. So, now so I could try to get some sleep, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... Um... You know what, we'll go with just a completely off-the-wall thing. What's your favorite number? Minus three. I don't know, three sounds like a great number to me. I also like seven and thirteen, but... I don't know, three just seems like the perfect number. So put your answer down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Riddler. Good night, Fluffbutt. Good night, sassy girl.